That's what we uh, all, most of Thai royal royalty food that serve on table have to be look good. All fruit have to be carved in piece of any kind of flowers that, that look nice and form two different different things to make it look very nice before you can taste them. Um, and that's that's what most of people in Thailand are learning to do so, because after. This time, uh, most of school are teaching in class when you're young. The food part or just carving? The carving general? part. I see. Yeah, part of art, part of craft. So, and I learned from fruit first. Every fruit that I can do, and there's so many fruit in my refrigerator after I've been crazy about carving it, have more fun to do. Then I'm just thinking that if I can change it to something, I can keep them. And I can keep look at it because a lot each day I come with different design, and I just want to keep them so I can look at. And I try on candle. Doesn't work. Candle is so crumbling and cracking out. Soon the night poke into it, they are cracking. And I just like well, okay, different brand of candle. I, I bought many kind of candle. None of them work. Then I try on soap. I saw on online people are doing soap. Then I said, like, hmm, that might be good to try. I ran out and buy many brands of soap. Because you don't know how the shape look like, what color look like. Because I like to have in white. That way I can paint them. So I bought like almost every brand in, in, in grocery store. <laughs> Open up. That's why we still have, this has already been three years, four years, I still have a bunch of soap to use. <laughs> and, and then we found out a couple of brands that we can use. Like Dove, I use Dove. Uh, they're quite nice, but it's still not, not the type of soap I like. And then I found another one, Cashmere Bouquet. It worked perfectly, that's why it's come out like those bar. But then they start quit doing it. They discontinue doing it, so then you you can't find them anymore. And plus, they not give you enough time to do, because while I'm doing it, you have so limited time, because every time you cut them off, they start drying out. The time you get done, sometimes you only have little tiny space that you need to finish it. They won't let you, they crack. Ah. So that's it, you're done. So then I come up with this soap. This soap is a male and poor soap that I put in a mold. And uh, this one is very awesome. You can, you can add uh, vitamin E in it. You can do anything with it. And when, you carve, uh, when I carve them, it's very, very awesome. You can play with them. It, it gives me, give me more time, more time to put a design in it, more time to put detail in it. Okay. Yes. Um, well, as you see, this artwork are on soap, and I many times I went to uh, do a demo show. I do uh, fruit art as well at demo show in Asia. I do in grocery store that they're looking for marketing, and uh, um, most of kids in this, let's say, modern world, most of kids love to look at it. I see many, many children that's not going home with their parents try to watch until I finish carving watermelon or cantaloupe. And I just like, when I came to Kentucky after we relocated back here, I, I really like kids to see that art is not something you have to draw them. You know, you can do something in many ways. Many ways can draw up art. And that's interesting. 